In this video, I'm going to show you five amazing chat GPT for tips and tricks that you may or may not have been using. So let's check it out. Let's go on and get to the very first prompt that I really like to use. The first is going to be rewrite the following text by reordering the information, paraphrasing and simplifying the language where appropriate. And then here we can actually insert a block of text and have it rewritten. So in previous AI models, it would have a really hard time rewriting text unless you gave it really specific instructions. So we're going to actually try rewriting something. I'm going to show you how it can be done. So I'm going to come over here to the verge.com and I'm going to steal this block of text right here and let's slap it right into our prompt. And now GPT-4 is going to rewrite this in a very lovely way. So as you can see, guys, it is taking what's already written. It is reforming, reordering, paraphrasing, and simplifying. So now you could literally rewrite things with just ChatGPT4 and it looks so much cleaner. It's very well done and you no longer need to actually pay a writer to rewrite things for you because now you can do it yourself. So this is huge. What this means is you could essentially take existing information and come up with new angles for it and create your own articles. You can use this for scripts for a YouTube video. There is so much potential to this particular prompt. Now make sure you stay to the end of the video because I'm going to show you a really really cool prompt that's similar to this that can take any text and make it into a really well i don't want to give it away just yet but i think you'll definitely appreciate it all right now this next prompt is kind of more geared towards youtubers but you can apply this prompt for really anything, whether you're marketing a product or selling something, or maybe you want to sell a course, or maybe you want to do something that's going to include a group of people or an audience. This is just off the top of my head, but so I use this. I need to create a viewer avatar for a YouTube channel that creates content on the latest news and technology regarding AI, including things like text to image generation, mid journey, chat GBT, Bing chatbot, etc. I need an in-depth avatar with pain points, fears, hopes, the works. So now what GPT-4 is going to do is it's going to take this and it's actually going to build out an entire avatar of somebody who's going to want to watch this channel, right? So it's going to give us an uh, in-depth background. It's going to tell us their fears, their hopes, their dreams, their pains, everything. Now, you might be asking, well, this is cool and all, but how is this helpful? Well, because it can actually create a persona for you to market to or to create content for. Let's say you're writing articles for a particular website in a particular niche and you need to know how exactly to word your articles for a particular audience. Well, you could have GPT-4, you could take this prompt and reword it and actually write out an avatar for your ideal audience right here. Here's that persona. And then what you could do is you could paste in your text and say, rewrite this to appeal to Tech Genius AI or whoever the avatar name is. So this is a very general prompt that has extremely powerful results. And this is just one example to use it. So as you see here, it actually went out, it listed their gender, occupation, location, personality traits, hopes, fears, pain points, goals. I mean, guys, this is amazing. So now let's say we want to take it a step further. I could tell it, create a list of 10 videos that what's the name it is tech genius ai wants to watch and gpt4 will actually go ahead and based on the information given up here will actually create 10 videos that are going to highly appeal to this avatar i want you guys to understand how incredibly powerful this is because in any other field of marketing or research companies would sometimes have to pay thousands if not more just to develop a very in-depth marketing persona and avatar of who they are trying to appeal to and now the fact that you can just use GPT to do that for you is literally game changing. I mean, these are really good. Demystifying text to image generation, mid journey, chat GPT. These are all things that this particular audience already really likes as proven by many other successful YouTube videos being chat bot. And also I love how they include things like AI and healthcare and neural networks. So it's not just like the, the hot tools right now, but also where AI is going and where it's going to evolve our modern day society. So very, very, very good job, chat GPT. And while we are on the topic of creating a, I guess, marketing plan, I gave it this prompt. I need an entire marketing strategy for a product I'm releasing. The super sneaker, a shoe that's so comfortable you can wear it all day with no pain. So this is obviously a fake product that I just spewed and I wanted to see what it can do with just this simple prompt. So as it's generating this for me, I want you just to understand 
how powerful this can be by just coming up with an idea and having GPT-4 do all the heavy lifting for you as far as coming up with a marketing objective, a marketing plan. You can even have it do a 30-day marketing plan as it's doing this, budgets to use. You can build out Facebook ad avatar profiles. You can ask it the best marketing plan in terms of how to advertise, where to advertise, what your ads should look like, what your banner should look like, what your copy should look like. This is just touching the tip of the iceberg. It is unreal. And I know it's still going here, but already what it's giving us is extremely impressive based off what little information that we've given it. So it's showing us right here, target audience, men and women aged 18 to 45 who value comfort and style in their footwear. Secondary, individuals with jobs that require extended periods of standing or walking, such as retail workers, nurses, and teachers. This is genius. The unique selling proposition provides unmatched comfort, allowing wearers to stay on their feet all day without experiencing pain or discomfort. And then it lists marketing channels, right? Social media. It tells us what to utilize, content marketing, develop a blog featuring articles on foot health, shoe technology, and the science behind the super sneakers comfort. Guys, email marketing, public relations. This is, do you guys realize the amount of money I would have or that you would have to pay someone to get this exact same information? The fact that GPT-4 just generates this for us for free, it, it's just unreal. All right, I wanna keep this moving along, so let's go on to the very last prompt I wanna show you guys today. But before I do that, if you guys are enjoying the content on today's channel, be sure to go ahead and smack that like and subscribe button for more things like the news on AI, how to use AI tools, etc. All right, so the very last prompt kinda of goes back to the first one, which is rewriting content. But there's a very specific way that we can use a rewriting prompt. Now, I wanna to talk to you guys about storytelling. So storytelling is honestly the age old way to entertain your audience with information. In fact, the movie industry itself is probably the largest storytelling industry. There is a multi, probably trillion dollar industry at this point. And so the prompt I'm going to be sharing with you guys is a way you can take any bit of information, no matter what it is, and turn it into a story. So to show this, I'm gonna go back over here to The Verge and I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste the text we used before. We're gonna paste it here into the prompt. Okay, are you guys ready? The prompt is rewrite the above text in a storytelling format. Is that it? That's simple. And what GPT-4 will do is it will take any information you give it and when it will actually create a series of stories or a story that's based upon this to make it far more engaging, far more entertaining, and very captivating. In a world of artificial intelligence, whispers circulated about the arrival of a new powerful language model. Curiosity peaked. People eagerly awaited an official announcement from OpenAI, the creator of these extraordinary AI beings. One fine day, the rumors and speculation came to an end. OpenAI proudly revealed the existence of GPT-4, the latest prodigy and its lineage of AI models. I mean, as I'm reading this, guys, it's pretty good. But every story has its cautionary tale, and this was no exception. OpenAI warned that GPT-4, much like the models before, it still grappled with some troubling tendencies. The brilliant mind of GPT-4 could occasionally wander into the realm of fantasy, conjuring up information from thin air, a phenomenon known as hallucination. Additionally, GPT-4 possessed the unsettling power to generate violent and harmful text. And as the world marveled at the arrival of GPT-4, they also heeded the warnings of its creators, acknowledging the need to tread carefully on this thrilling journey into the future of AI. Wow. Good job, GPT-4. So how might you use this? Well, you could use it in the introduction to a video. You could use it to explain a concept. There are many ways you can use this simple prompt, but this, guys, is an incredible tool that I highly, highly, highly recommend you use that I've never seen anybody talk about at all. This little prompt right here has enough power to literally take any text you give it and turn it into something far more captivating than you could ever imagine. So there's my golden nugget for you guys. And I hope you guys found some of the prompts in this video extremely helpful because these can do a lot of things for you. I plan to make this video a series and do more videos that show you more amazing prompts you can use. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to go ahead and smack that like and subscribe button for more things on AI news, AI tools, and all of that fun stuff. I love you all and I'll see you guys in the next video.